What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna give you a quick tip on how to turn one client into a hundred clients. So this is something that I've done over and over and over again in my real estate business, but you guys can use this in any industry, any kind of sales business there is out there, the same principles will apply. And it will also work regardless of what the market does, okay? Too many salespeople are concerned with markets crashing, different things happening with the economy. It doesn't really matter. The point is, is that people continue to buy your products, right? People continue to buy and sell homes regardless of market conditions. True, that transactions may go up and down. True, prices may fluctuate, but that does not stop the fact that closings continue to happen through the good times and through the bad times. So never be worried about a market crash. If you apply the principles that I'm gonna share with you today, crashes will not apply to you. Now real quick before I get started, I want you to imagine that every single time that you click the like button on one of Ricky's videos, you will get a new sale. All right, you get a new client every single time you click that like button. So go ahead, click that like button, and a client is gonna magically appear right there in front of you on your email, text you, somewhere in the universe, karma is gonna happen, and they're going to present you a new client that's gonna buy whatever it is that you're selling. So let's get into the video. So if we wanna take one client, and create 100 clients out of just this one client, okay? So understand the very first thing that I'm saying here, right? I want you to visualize this. What I'm saying is, is I'm taking one client, okay? Not one transaction, not one deal, not one closing and turning that into 100 closings, 100 deals, right? I'm saying, what if we, took one client, which is AKA a human being, right? We have to start calling it for what it is, okay? It's not a deal, it's a, it's a person, it's a human, okay? So most people look at business and look at sales in terms of transactions. How many transactions did you do, okay? How do we close deals, all right? How do we handle objections? How do we do this, how do we do that to make people sign the line and do business with us? How do we make people do transactions with us? That's the wrong way to look at the business, okay? I'm thinking about it like this, a client. Okay, how do I turn one client into 100 clients? When I think about a client, I think about this. I think about multiple deals, okay? I think that particular person is going to do business X amount of times in their life. They're gonna do X amount of transactions. Not sure what the number's gonna be, but it's gonna be more than one on average, okay? So I wanna think about that first. I wanna visualize the fact that what I'm talking about here is a human being. Okay, not a transaction. My tagline for everything that I do is to value relationships over transactions. When you're talking to prospects, I want you to talk to them in terms of what can we do to help you. Start to understand their motivations. Why do they want to buy or sell whatever it is that they're doing? And then use that to further help them. Until you know why someone wants to buy or sell, you cannot truly help them because they didn't wake up one day and just say, I wanna buy or sell this. Okay, if something's going on in their life, okay, their mom died, their kids went to college, they lost a job, they got a job, they're upgrading, downgrading, you know, moving for the fun of it, whatever the case may be, something's going on bigger in their life than just the transaction. And when, when we decide that we care about that more than the transaction and we start to focus on that, their bigger wives, their bigger motivations, what's going on with their specific situation in their life, when we start to focus on that, now we're getting somewhere. And we're putting ourselves in a position where not only are we helping them with the bigger reasons and the bigger things going on in their life, but we're also showing our clients that we care about them, we want the best for them. We're not just doing this for a deal. We're doing this to help people. And when your motivation becomes, I want to help people rather than I just want to close deals, you end up closing more deals. I've said this time and time again, and my track record and results definitely prove this point. 
okay? You can't sell 100 properties every single year for the last six going on seven years and I'll continue to do it year over year over year over year and it's literally because I'm not going after the deal. I want to know what I can do to help people, okay? When you understand that that should be the foundation of your business and the motivation behind everything that you do and then you try, you learn how to communicate that to the world at scale, okay, across thousands and thousands of people that are in your market for your product, that's when you're gonna take your business to another level. Levels you've never dreamed ever possible, okay? I never thought that I would sell 100 properties a year, year over year over year over year over year over year over year, okay? I never thought that. My goal was always to try to get to that point, but then I didn't realize that I would just keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it. The only reason I've been able to do that while running the fastest growing real estate coaching program in the world, while traveling and speaking, while making these videos for you, while having a podcast and doing Instagram and all the above is because I value relationships over transactions. So I feel like this is an extremely important philosophy that you need to get right now. And you need to do a 180. If, you, if right now in your business, okay, you're a high pressure salesperson, you're handling the objections, don't you feel a little uncomfortable when you're talking to your prospects? Don't you feel a little awkward doing that? Don't you feel a little different? Don't you feel like, man, isn't there another way? Okay, here it is. Okay, instead of trying to see and trying to figure out how to make them do the deal, say the right things and try to make them sign the line, why don't you approach it with, how are you doing today? What can I do to help you? This is what I'm doing. Is there anything I can do to help you with this? All right, and get into a conversation and find out what is going on with them, okay, that you can help them with and then help them, okay? That's the name of the game here. Now, going back to the title of this video, turning one client into a hundred clients, okay, this is how it's done. When you're with a client, when you're doing everything that I've talked about the entire video, okay, when you're showing them that you care, when you're asking the right questions, when they're treating them like family, when you treat your clients like family, that is where magic happens, okay? And this is the road that we take, okay? Out of that one client in the lifetime of your career, okay, that client, when you really lock in and they believe in you that you're there to help them and they really feel it, now they're gonna refer everyone they know to you. And over the life of your career, you're gonna get five or 10 referrals from that client. So now we turn one client into five to 10. Okay, now what's gonna happen? Over that same time, each of those referrals are gonna come to you and you're gonna do the same thing with them. You're gonna treat them like family. Okay, a couple of things is gonna happen here, several different things. One is, they're gonna go back to the person that referred them to you and they're gonna say, thank you so much for referring me to Ricky. Thank you so much, he treated me so good. You know what? I'm gonna refer everybody I know to Ricky. Okay, so those five to 10 people, you treat them like family, now they're gonna turn around and refer five to 10 more people to you over the life of your career. See, this is the part that people get mixed up on and you know, they, they feel like, oh, it's not working, you know, because this is over the life of your career. Okay, people want, you know, you, us as salespeople, we want everything right now. You know, we're comparing ourselves to every, every other salesperson in the market. We're seeing people make millions, right? And we're sitting over here making hardly anything, wondering what's wrong with us? Stop comparing yourself to other people. Okay, this is a process. This takes time. This doesn't happen overnight. What we wanna do is we wanna look at the effort that the top producers are putting in and we want to outwork them. We wanna put in more effort than all the other top producers, right? And even if our results aren't on par with the top producers, we know that we are headed in the right direction, that we will get there eventually if we don't stop, if we don't quit. People stop too soon, they give up. Do not give up, keep going, fighting, clawing. Everything in, in the world should, depends on you continuing forward. 
the life of your family. You want to support them, right? You want to give them the best life possible, okay? Don't give up. Keep moving. So after you take that one client, you treat them like family, they refer five or 10 to you. You take those five or 10, you treat them like family, they give you five or 10 over life of your career. You treat those like family, you know, they give you five or 10 and the list goes on and on and on and it turns into this incredible tree, right? It's just, just incredible where all these people came from, how you met them, how it's all connected and it literally snowballs into a monster, which is what I have, right? The reason why I'm able to spend time with you so much and my family so much and build other businesses and everything else that I do, right? I knock off every day at five o'clock and I shut it down and I go into vacation mode. At five, from five to 10, which is when I go to sleep, I'm in vacation mode. I wanna pretend like I'm on vacation because you know when you're on vacation, you go on vacation for a week, when you come back, you're fired up, ready to go. That's what I wanna feel like every day. So I try to, do the same thing, I try to create the same atmosphere. I'm on vacation, in my mind, right? I'm recharging, that way the next day I'm fired up and ready to go. I hope this video helps you realize a little bit of the philosophy behind how to build a real business that's gonna survive any market situations. I'm here to help you, okay? So if you have any questions whatsoever, put them in the comments below or send me a message on Instagram. I answer every single one of those messages. And let me know if there's any kind of videos you want me to make in the future and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Let's go!